Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a haul video for you guys and it's the Bullet Journal Essentials Haul theme for back to school. I also have a giveaway with Stationery Pal and let's go ahead and talk about that giveaway first. There will be one winner and it is open internationally. All you need to do is to like this video, subscribe to this channel, subscribe to Stationery Pal, and leave a comment of what your favorite stationery item is. One comment equals one entry and it will run for 10 days. So good luck and I'll see you in the comments. And for even more good news, Stationery Pal actually has a promo for back to school. You get 50 to 70% off of products, nearly 2,000 of them, when you shop automatically, plus an extra discount of 18% if you use my code. So let's go ahead and go through the haul. First, I have the freebies, which comes with your Stationery Pal order. And there are quite a few goodies here as I'm showing you, but there are um, some repeats such as the bell, the bear, and the um, cell phone accessory. I forgot what that's called. I think it's pop socket. And then I have this elastic string with a few bobs. I think this is jewelry. I'm not really quite sure what that is, but I really like the pop socket that came with my order today. These are pretty good. I'm using the one I got from my last haul actually. And these are the accessories that I ordered. Of course, um, there will be other little accessories, but these are the main ones that aren't um, pens and things. First, we have this ceramic pen cutter that's very useful if you're working a lot with washi. And I'll show you a demo of that in just a little bit because I'm going to be using it to open up this packet. So this is a very important accessory because this is where you can put all of your pens and other stationary items for your bullet journaling so that you have it in one place. So you can assemble it like this. It's very easy. It just snaps on and you can disassemble it if you want to take it to um, another place or even send it to someone. So next I have a very essential part of bullet journaling which is a ruler. I picked the gold one but you can also pick some of the um, clear ones which I think is more practical than the gold one. Here I have a correction tape and this is pretty skinny that's why I picked it just in case you want to take it along with you. Um, in your backpack, in your pencil case. And the last one I have here is a glue tape. Now, I use a lot of glue tape in my bullet journaling. I do keep a bullet journal. It is very messy, so I don't show it online or on social media. But I picked this one because this is the exact model where my other glue tape refill could fit in and these are all acid free. I use these a lot because I do print a lot of things and I just use those to stick it into my bullet journal. Of course I also have washi. Now these have very non-functional, mostly decorative functions. I picked set ones so that it comes in a box and I could just pick the ones that I want to use and they're mostly plain except for that middle box that you see. So this one are just colorful strips. It's like swatches of painting. So it's very artsy but very minimal at the same time. And you get lots of colors so you can choose which one. You can choose one for every week if you should like, and I'll show you one of the swatches of this uh, later. So it comes with that box, which is very useful. And then this middle one is the most decorative one. I picked it because it had the days of the week as well as the numbers on it. So I thought that was very useful, so I don't have to keep writing them down. And then last one, I have a very minimalist type of washi. They're skinnier than regular washi as well, except for the last two grid ones. And I think that these are enough for the whole entire year. 
I also picked a few stickers, flags, and some storage. I'll show you the stickers first. So this is the only stickers that I got from my bullet journal haul. Um, and if you're a student, you can of course use a ton of stickers if you should like, or even if you're like in high school and want to try bullet journaling, it's great to just use your own stickers or print some pictures out and stick them onto your bullet journal. And then I also ordered this sticky note and this is a full on grid and I really love this. It's not back to back printing, but I don't use the back of my post-its so I don't mind. I love that because it's cream. And then the last two are film flags. So I don't like the paper flags, paper flags anymore. I haven't used those in a while, but I really love film flags because they're very durable. I tend to use these more than a few times. I move them around and then I stick them back onto this little plastic thing and then I reuse them. So I want them to be really extra durable. Last one we have is this storage. Now this is square and will fit an A5 notebook. Um, and if you do have a notebook in here that's an A5 and it's relatively thick, it's probably not going to fit a lot of other things, but it does fit the flags and the sticky note and the stickers that I have. That's why I picked this one. And of course the color is very, um, very me. It's a warm brown and then it's gray inside. So it's a neutral color inside. So I really like that. It has lots of pockets that you can also use to store various things. And the last one here for this haul is of course your bullet journal notebook. I ordered this from a stationary pal. So this is their notebook. It says paper ideas and it comes with blank grid and then the dots. So all different types of paper, but I have the blank one. I wasn't intending to get the black one. I'm not sure why this is the one that was sent to me, but I really don't mind because I wanted to actually experience how I would be able to do a bullet journal on a blank notebook. And it was life changing to say the least. I really love this paper as well. Fountain pen will work. It does not feather. It does a lot of ghosting, just like a Tomorrow River paper. It's just that it's not smooth. It's not too smooth. There's also numbers at the bottom and you get 180 plus pages on there. And then at the very back, just like a moleskin, you have a little pocket that you can use to store things in. And for example, you have handouts and things and you can just put it in there, um, your list of classes as, as well. So here I'm just taking a sheet of the number stickers. So this one is for July and that's when I'm starting this bullet journal. And I'm just gonna stick it at the back for now because I don't have anything to stick it onto it right now now or any paper to put in there right now when I just hold this. Maybe after I go to school with it, I'll put a lot of things at the back. I am using this, but not just as a student. Um, it's like a dump for all my PhD ideas. And now let's get to all of the pens. I do have a lot of pens for this haul. I have a ballpoint, a gel pen, a felt tip and I also have a brush pen from Tombow and that is the hard tip and of course we have the pencil so this is a mechanical pencil also from Tombow I have the pink version of this and this is also the Tombow eraser so this is really well made very sturdy does not shake when you use it so I highly recommend I also picked up the zig clean color dot so it's um, it dots instead of a brush pen and these are the brush pen that I picked from Tombow I already have one of these I didn't know I had that I forgot but now I have doubles and this is my favorite thing of all I have the fountain pen from platinum this is the gray one and this is also F nib it comes with a cartridge as well as a um what do you call that the storage for the ink that you can just fill up 
I'll put it in here once I remember what that term is. I'm so sorry. <laughs> what is that? Converter. And also don't forget to join the international giveaway I have with Stationery Pal. And I hope you do win all these wonderful goodies. There's like 50 items in here that you can win. Alright, so now let's go ahead and get started with filling out our bullet journal. So this is what I would do if I was a student and using a bullet journal for the very first time. I would, of course, dress up my storage. And because this is my aesthetic, even before this was my aesthetic, bears, little bears, little toys as keychains is really something that makes me super happy because it helps me personalize my stuff and all my favorite things can go with me everywhere. So there is our bear and it's pretty sturdy actually. It's very easy to do, just stick it on a paper clip. Of course the paper clip I have is rose gold. So now I'm taking all of the things on the po in the pockets that I put in there earlier and I'm gonna go ahead and use them right now, starting with the post-its. So I'm going to write down my suggestions for bullet book journal pages if you are in college or in high school. I'm just taking off the rubber thing at the end of this pen because it had never been used so I know that because the rubber is still on there. And I'm just writing down my bullet journal pages list. We have the yearly, your semester, subject information, project list, homework, monthly view, weekly view, and daily log. So I'm not going to do all of the pages, but I will do a few. Well, I will do the yearly, and I think that's all I'm going to be able to do for this video. So here I'm just choosing the colors that will represent each of the sections, and I'm going to go ahead and write on the film flags what they are so that um, it's easy for me to get to them right away. There is a an index at the beginning of this notebook that you can use as well, but I mainly use my indexes to write down collections pages. If, there are, if the pages are like monthly view, weekly view, daily logs, I don't put them in my index anymore. Those are just for collections. So here I'm writing down what the letters mean, my projects, my homework tracker, and etc. I'm going to be using the circles for those information loaded pages. And then for the back of this notebook, I have my bullet journal um, essentials pages. So those are just going to help me with keeping up with this bullet journal. So reference pages for my bullet journaling. So instead of using the square flags, which I usually use for my daily sections, weekly sections, and monthly sections, I'm going to be using the washi. So this was the washi that was a little bit skinnier than a regular washi and it's just plain. And I'm going to be using them as tabs for the pages that at the back. So once that is done, I'm just putting things away. So that everything is clear and now I'm going to go ahead and make my yearly pages in my bullet journal. So this is sort of like what I will do if I was in high school. Once again, if I was in high school or in, um, in college uh, and I'm starting a bullet journal, this is just my recommendations. Once again, of course, you can add or not do all of the pages should you like. So here I'm taking my very fancy but really impractical <laughs> ruler. I have to say, if you have been a, watching my videos with my Hobonichi and you saw my Daiso ruler, that's still the best ruler. This is really nice for photos, but I still prefer that um, Daiso ruler. So here I'm putting down a sticky note uh, from my grid sticky notes. That is because I'm having so much trouble keeping a straight line. And that had always been a problem with blank pages. But the solution I found is that if you stick grid sticky notes or line sticky notes at the back um, of this notebook, you can actually still see them and be able to make better lines and even 
write better, like write straighter. So that could be a little trick for everybody. Um, you can just do that and then take out the post-it and then take pictures for your Instagram and everybody will, everybody will be very amazed and very impressed with how straight your handwriting is on blank pages. So don't tell them that you found out about that in this video. So here I'm just writing down the year 22 to 2023 and that is the coverage. So that's a whole year's worth. Um, in Australia, it's it spans two years as well. And in my country, it also spans two years. So in the Philippines, it does that too. So I think all, all countries maybe will, will um, have their years, uh, academic years through two years. So here I'm going to be writing down goals in very big script because I tend to always want to see my goals at the beginning of any of my notebook. Like whenever I start a new bullet journal, I will always put goals in front of it. Just so at the end of the day, once the bullet journal is finished, I can see if I've managed to accomplish any of the goals that I've written down. So here I'm making quarters and I'm doing this very messily because once again, um, this is just my own uh, aesthetic of a bullet journal. Uh, because it's a journal, I don't want it to be too clean, too strict. That's just how I feel about it. If I wanted something like that, I would have just gone for a Hobonichi, which tends to make you want to organize thoughts and organize ideas and write them down in a very organized way. I don't know if that makes sense, um, if you feel the same way, but that's just how I feel about um, bullet journals. So here I will be um, using one of these washi, is it like a swatch of a painting, like a watercolor swatch? That's how. It makes me feel that's my idea of this but it this is really truly pretty it is a little on the transparent side which also works because what you can do as I will be doing right now I'm going to be writing down the words so I'm going to write quarter two um, and then I'll I can just put washi on top of course I'm using a very dark pen so this is the Tombow Fudunosuke um soft no sorry hard tipped brush pen um i think this is their calligraphy pen but it comes it looks like that so you can just easily pick it out from all of the tombow pens it's still called tombow brush pen and then i just wrote um a well i didn't write i scribbled a little square up at the top that's going to be my main yearly things, um, goals, events, and things like that. So I can also mark potentially what, uh, which quarters will have that one school year. And on the opposite page, what I wanted to do was to print out the calendar, the academic calendar. I'm setting this up because I'm thinking also of teaching and I wanted to be um, aware of, of course, the semesters because I need to know when, when the uh, tests weeks will start, like exam week start, orientation week start and things like that. So I'm still thinking if I wanted to teach um, in the coming semester, probably not this coming semester, maybe the semester after that. So I thought this would be really useful and I should start it now um, while I have the chance. But mostly this is going to just be tracking my PhD. That's why I'm only making the yearly because yearlies tend to be the same for everything. So this is 2023. Well, everything academic. This is 2023 and the four quarters. And in the middle, I have um, a little tracker. You can also utilize this middle space if you're using quarters as well on the page um, and that's just going to mark which quarter you are already in 
So here I'm just using the washi for decoration and so that's how it swatches as I mentioned it looks a lot like uh, it's being painted on. It has a very beautiful effect and I highly recommend. So here I'm just using my favorite gel pen which is the Pilot G-Tech C. So this is the original one. The one that I used before in one of my videos, in many of my videos, is the Mica. So the Mica is a little bit more stylized and the G-Tech is more functional looking. So that that's still an aesthetic actually, that's its aesthetic, but basically the guts are the same. So here I'm just putting down the tabs that I prepared earlier on my sticky note. Um, I am, as a planner, sticky notes are my best friends. I cannot plan without sticky notes. Sticky notes is where all the initial planning and pre-planning will go just before they go into my planner. Although in my planner, it means you no longer see the sticky note very often because those tend to be quite messy, but I still do use them all the time. So here I'm just lining up the little circles so the tabs will all look good so that when I flip through them they look really nice and even. So let's go to the back of the planner. So as I mentioned I'm using the little pieces of washi as my tabs. So these are very messy. It's not as um, aligned as the film flags that I was using. So this is, that is because this is the back of the planner, so they're not going to be something that I flip to very often. And as I mentioned, those are like the pen test pages, the measurement pages, and dump of whatever pages. So that's why they don't need to be as nice. But you can also make them nice. Actually, this doesn't look too bad, as you can see there. So very easy to use. Just flip to the back. Just feel at the end of the paper at, and you can flip to that page right away. So this notebook also comes with the ribbons and this is what they look like. I'm not a big fan of ribbons. I love the Hobonichi one. That is the only ones that I like. These are so nylon feeling, you know, like fishing line feeling. So. I didn't like them very much. Here I'm going to show you three ways to mark daily log pages. So if you want to get to a weekly page or a monthly page right away, here are some of the ways. First, you can use a sticky note. So don't be afraid, just write dailies or today on the edge of the sticky note and just stick it at the top of the page and that is where it is. The second one is to use a paper clip. So this paper clip is quite small and also if you don't want paper clips, you can also use film, film flags, not paper flags, film flags because they are more durable. And the last tip here is if you want to have an inbox at the beginning or at the cover, you can also do that, especially if you store this in a separate um, storage like I ha am. I, this has its own bag so I can write inbox on a um, sticky note and stick them in the front of my planner so that when I get to school and I open this and that's the first thing that I do I know exactly what I need to do if, or if there's anything really important that I need to do that day that I should not be forgetting. And that is all of our bullet journaling for today. I hope that you got ideas. It's not the most artistic bullet journal. We are not drawing or anything similar, but for it's me, bullet functional. journaling is all about functionality. I don't draw on my stuff, on my bullet journal stuff, and that is why there's, there wasn't any drawing for this bullet journal. Um, unlike a lot of the beautiful bullet journal pages that you see online and social media, you don't always have to be like that to start bullet journaling. That's not exactly the heart of bullet journaling, but that's something really fun to do. So here I'm just storing my washi in that really affordable 
and very common ruler and with my gold ruler that I do not recommend just get the plain clear ones those are better rulers and then my notebook goes inside the bag and one pen and that is all I need for my bullet journal really I don't really need everything that you saw here but it's good to have and now I'm closing her up and she's ready to go to school with me with my tiny little bear and once again don't forget about the giveaway and I'll see you in the next video